This is the x-ray for a four-year-old girl with a Pertis disease on the left hip. This is the very first x-ray and you can only notice a little slight difference in between this highness and the other side. Uh, since this is a girl with painful hip and painful knee on the same side and probably also limping, we have to rule out uh, per disease. So we add to this pelvis AP a pelvis with a frog uh, leg uh, position, which is here. In this position now, you can see a black line subchondral, which represents a subchondral fracture, and that is pathognomonic of a Pertis disease in the very first stage. You can also see a slight difference again in the highness or the height of the epiphysis compared with the other side, as you see here. So, um, since the x-ray for the girl was suggested of a Pertis disease, we decided just to observe, because at that age, most of them could have a very good uh, follow-up. This x-ray is six months later, and you can see that this has developed to a non-very good Pertis disease. You see really the height of this very, very uh, down. The lateral column is really uh, small if you compare with the, the other side. This is the lateral column. And this is uh, probably a herring uh, on a very bad scale. And that's why we were very worried and we asked also the frog position that it's here. And you can see this is almost all the head of the uh, femur, uh, very bad um, affected. This is really clear if you compare again with the other side, which has a normal height, uh, round, and very well centered in this frog position. This has a very wide space in the acetabulum to the femur. So when we see that kind of a Pertis disease that it's really bad in the, the follow-up, we have to add some special positions, like this one. This is an internal rotation of the hip with abduction. And you can see that if you try to do so, the pelvis tilt. See the obliquity in the pelvis down and also up. Uh, also, we can see here on the other x-ray, this is a position with the adduction taking the head out of the, the acetabulum that the pelvis loses that tilting and it's quite uh, normally uh, aligned with the uh, rest of the uh, spine and the rest of the, the body. But here you can see that the chanton line is also lost and a big uh, cyst here in this uh, metaphyseal uh, place. This is probably going to be a very bad Pertis disease, even started at four years of age.